the serious austere simple energetic fearless truth loving young man is an idea he really does not exist he has to be brought into existence by someone who is exactly that which needs to be brought into existence before we talk of swami vivekananda misha let's talk of ramkrishna paramhans there would have been no swami vivekananda had there been no paramhans first of all swami vivekananda don't drop off from the sky they are raised they are made they are given birth not by their mothers but by somebody like paramhans where is paramhans Swami Vivekananda was an ordinary man Narendra and he too had his ordinary pursuits it was the magical touch of paramhans that turned him into vivekananda and he wasn't too eager either many a times he ran away from ram krishna sometimes in the name of family responsibility sometimes in the name of education sometimes because he was just bored with this ordinary devotee of dakshineshwar temple hmm it's a gigantic task it doesn't just happen on its own if you leave the youth to how they are it is not liberation that would happen procreation would happen on its own liberation never happens procreation happens that you don't have to teach but we somehow have a feeling that liberation is cheap it too should happen on its own why must it happen on its own when we complain that our sons and daughters are not like nivekananda nivedita we must first ask ourselves are we like ramkrishna and sharda if we are not like ramkrishna and sharada how will our sons and daughters be like vivekananda nivedita